If you thought our first video on fraudulent foods was jaw-dropping, then prepare for a wilder exposure, because what awaits you in part two is bound to shock you again. In this video, we're taking you on a deeper dive into the devious world of food fraud. So brace yourselves for an exploration of deadly schemes, hidden hazards, and jaw-dropping revelations that will keep you on the edge of your seat. From counterfeit coffee that can't even espresso itself to meat scams, we're back to spilling the tea on your grocery haul's dirtiest secrets. So without further ado, let's dig in. Maple syrup is a beloved American and Canadian condiment that has been enhancing the yumminess of our pancakes, waffles, French toast, oatmeal, and porridge for years. But just like honey, it has long been a victim of counterfeiting. In fact, that innocent looking maple syrup gracing your pancakes right now could very well be an inexpensive imitation. Numerous syrups use high fructose corn syrup or other artificial sugars that can wreak havoc on your digestive system. They also incorporate preservatives and additives to ensure longevity and flavor retention. Certain maple syrups could even harbor contaminants like heavy metals. What's even more disheartening is that the labels often flaunt terms like all natural and pure, enticing you into believing in their authenticity. However, these terms often lack stringent regulation. So if you truly want to enjoy genuine maple syrup, it's advisable to opt for reputable brands and look for that grade A marking. Few things rival the revitalizing power of a delightful morning cup of tea. Be it green, black, herbal, or white, for many, it's an essential ritual they can't let go of. Sadly, the world of tea has equally fallen prey to counterfeit practices. Whether it's luxurious blends or everyday staples, fraudsters exploit the demand for high-quality tea by producing counterfeits. There are many tea packages that claim to hold your cherished premium tea, but house inferior leaves, depriving you of the expected flavor and casting doubt on the authenticity of your brew. Researchers have uncovered instances of tea contamination, with leaves from other plants, color additives, and even colored sawdust tainting the brew. Packaging often flaunts enticing terms like pure, natural, authentic, hand-picked, or premium, deceiving consumers into believing they're choosing top-tier tea products. However, the lack of strict regulations allows these labels to be applied to almost anything, leading to potential deception. Deceptive origins are a reality too, as tea from one or multiple regions and sources may be falsely labeled as originating from a more esteemed tea growing area. This not only tricks consumers, but also unfairly impacts dedicated tea producers who meticulously care for their crops. Therefore, the most effective solution is to obtain tea directly from its authentic sources when you travel to tea producing areas or to locate a trustworthy local seller as many grocery stores could potentially stock counterfeit teas on their shelves. Indulging in a succulent burger or delectable steak made with authentic, prime meat offers an unparalleled delight that gives a truly divine sensation. However, it's intriguing to discover that certain meat vendors engage in a practice of substituting prime cuts with less desirable options in their pursuit of profits. This means many supposedly premium steaks we consume could potentially unveil themselves as disguised phony. Fake meat has sparked several controversies, as there are instances of meat being adulterated with water or coloring to feign superiority. The meat's origin can be deceitfully portrayed, and beef might be passed off as Wagyu even when it's not. One of the most notable cases was the 2013 European horse meat scandal which exposed a large influx of horse meat mislabeled as beef in the UK. The scandal originating in Ireland rippled through multiple nations and led to the recall of countless meat products, which inflicted substantial financial setbacks on the industry. Color is also a great tool crafty fraudsters use in creating fake meat, as dyes and additives help to rejuvenate aging meat, giving it an enticing appearance. So beware of vividly colored yet inconsistently textured meat as it could be a sign of tampering. Labels like grass-fed and organic are used to inspire trust, but not all products honor these claims. Some brands misuse these terms without adhering to the guidelines, leaving you with a false sense of assurance. For ethically sourced, top-tier meat, rely on products certified by esteemed organizations. Genuine meat features a natural texture that mirrors its source, whereas counterfeit versions often show an unnatural uniformity due to additives and manipulation. If your meat feels unusually tender or lacks its typical texture, it's worth doubting its authenticity. 
As for the narrative surrounding lab drone meat and its entangled controversies, that's a story for another video, so stay tuned. While organic suggests a commitment to natural and sustainable farming, some labeled products are as fake as a unicorn's diet plan. From groceries to fruits and even skincare, fraudsters exploit consumers' health-conscious preferences by using terms for items grown with synthetic pesticides or modified seeds to undermine the genuine organic principles. Fraudulent organic food products may showcase the label without meeting the necessary rigorous and often expensive certification standards. One finding by the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, in 2019 revealed that over 40% of U.S. organic foods exceeded permissible pesticide levels. Terms like all-natural and chemical-free frequently adorn many organic products, creating a facade of being genuine. This tactic exploits consumer trust, especially those who assume that labels are enough to convey authenticity. While third-party certifications are meant to provide assurance, even these can be manipulated. Some products feature counterfeit certification logos that give them an air of legitimacy. One way to avoid falling into this trap is by trusting only certifications from reputable organizations. Be alert and well-informed about specific organic certification requirements in your locality and note the reputable bodies responsible for those certificates. Have you ever taken a sip of milk that felt thin and lacked that creamy delight you're used to? Well, it could be due to a sneaky move called milk dilution. This scheme entails blending water with milk to expand its quantity. So if your milk falls short on taste and texture, looking into the matter is worthwhile. Another deceitful trick involves synthetic additives. These compounds can imitate genuine milk's color, taste, and texture, making it tough to spot imposters. Authentic milk upholds uniform texture and color, whereas counterfeit renditions may portray themselves through inconsistencies. Regrettably, fake milk is increasingly prevalent in Asian markets due to substantial demand. This led to different scandals involving milk adulteration with contaminants like urea, detergent, sugar, salt, and particularly melamine, which is often introduced to infant formula and milk to falsely boost protein content. Back in 2008, an incident involving melamine-adulterated infant formula led to the hospitalization of thousands of babies, six tragic deaths, and a global recall of Chinese-made products. Shockingly, some of these items occasionally find their way onto American grocery store shelves. And if you believe that the milk in your cereal solely originates from cows, you might be completely wrong, as your carton could harbor a diverse range of sources. Sheep's milk has been known to be mixed with bovine milk and buffalo milk with goat antelope milk. Labels like hormone-free or antibiotic-free also aim to reassure milk quality. However, some producers misuse these labels without adhering to necessary standards. For genuine milk, select brands certified by reputable organizations committed to their claims and ensure you read the packaging that clearly provides details about the milk sourcing, processing, and nutritional content. Also, if the milk prices seem too good to be true, be cautious. Quality milk demands healthy cows good feed, and proper milking. Extremely low-priced milk might signal shortcuts that compromise authenticity and nutrition. One way to spot spoiled or fake milk is by using the sniff test. Unusual odor or off taste could signal issues, so you should rely on your senses to discern the authenticity of your milk. Whether you prefer cappuccino, latte, espresso, or classic drip, Nothing rivals the pleasure of kickstarting your day with the comforting taste and aroma of a freshly brewed cup of coffee. But what if I told you that your cherished morning ritual might not be what it seems? It turns out that coffees labeled as 100% Colombian or Peruvian might actually originate from regions where the beans are actually grown at a lower cost. Instant coffee faces even greater vulnerability to adulteration because it could be mixed with cereal substitutes, malt, chicory, figs, and various other additives. In the worst scenario, some coffees could contain ground twigs, leaves, or dyed sawdust. This deceptive practice lets coffee fraudsters save money while promoting their product as high-end. If you detect variations in taste and scent, or the label lacks clear origin information, you could be facing a dishonest blend. Counterfeit coffees also use synthetic aromas to mask poor bean quality, so if your coffee boasts an overly enticing aroma, it's wise to question its genuineness. Make sure you look for coffees with natural and consistent aromas that align with their stated flavor profiles. 
Certifications like Fair Trade and Organic are designed to assure consumers of coffee quality and ethical sourcing. However, these labels can be forged to deceive buyers. This makes it vital to confirm certifications by cross-referencing with issuing organizations and seeing distinct markings on the packaging. Some brands also prioritize visuals over substance, masking insufficient coffee details with eye-catching designs and packaging. Meanwhile, authentic brands invest in packaging that transparently reveals the origin, row state, and processing methods of the coffee. And the ultimate test for any genuine coffee lies in the brewing process. Authentic coffee blooms when hot water is poured over it, releasing a captivating aroma and creating a foamy layer. In contrast, fake coffee lacks this bloom, leading to a lackluster brew. This straightforward bloom test can help you determine whether your coffee lives up to its promises or if it's yet another fraudulent concoction designed to undermine our health and overall well-being.